This video is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. And General Tire. Anywhere is possible. As we embark on a new expedition here at Expedition Overland, we are proud to announce a new partnership with Toyota. And through that partnership, Toyota has provided us with two 2015 Trail Premium 4Runners. The 4Runner is a fantastic overland travel platform with a 30-year heritage of durability and function. And now, after having the new Trail Premiums, we can also say they're luxury. Luxury, such as Softex seats, fastened with red stitching, five-speed transmission with sport shift, and clean sound from Toyota's Intune stereo with an integrated navigation system. Our four-wheel drive equipped Trail Premium models are equipped with some heavy hitting features such as the Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System or KDSS, along with crawl control, A-Track, multi-train select, and factory locking rear differential. The 4Runner is a perfect vehicle platform for the adventure off the lot, no doubt about that. However, we were granted permission from Toyota to make the necessary additions to accommodate the demanding expedition ahead. We started at Dark Horse Customs in Bozeman, Montana to install our Stage 7 Icon Vehicle Dynamic Suspension. Our Icon Suspension was one of our favorite products on our Alaska Yukon Expedition, and this year we are excited to put their top-of-the-line suspension on our newest fleet members. So here's our uh, main shock for the rear, and this has the compression dampening control on it, so it's fully adjustable for whatever terrain we're going over. We can adjust that um, somewhat on the fly, you know, get out of our vehicle, turn it off, and we're set. We really like that. Also, it's the remote reservoir, so that's going to keep everything cool in here, so you get a lot of compressions when you're going over, you know, dirt roads or rough terrain. Um, that's just going to increase the life of this, which is really good for us. We've got the Old Man Emu Spring, which is for 800 plus pounds. We're traveling at Expedition Way almost all the time. We've got a lot of gear, and we really need this. We also have our uh, dampener here for bump stop. Um, it just makes things smooth, so you don't get the, that jarring impact. Uh, and this is gonna save our backs and our gear a lot. So we're, we're really excited to get these on the 4Runners. Next, our TRD wheels came in to complement the looks of our new rigs. These are the same wheels found on the TRD Pro line of 4Runners and are a killer wheel to mount our General Tire Grabber AT2s on. We had the option from General to use either General's Red Letter Grabbers or the All-Terrain AT2s. We confidently opted for the ATs. We had great performance out of them on our Alaska Yukon season, and now we believe that they will serve the greatest benefit to the main types of terrain that we will see in Central America, which are mostly good to badly paved roads and gravel surfaces. We then installed the all-new undercover hidden winch mount on the factory frame members to discreetly house our worn Xeon Platinum winches. The Xeon Platinums are equipped with Warren's lightweight Spidera winch line, which we terminated with a Factor 55 flat link at its end. Dark Horse then manufactured a bracket to house our full duty air compressor, supplied to us from our friends at Cruiser Outfitters. After that, our trucks were finalized with our prototype bushwhacker fenders and last minute detailed touches of backup lights, rock lights, etc. At our shop, we met up with Scott of High Altitude Communications to install our 2 meter ham radios in both of our forerunners for long range communication. With our comms on board, it was time to install our new season's graphics at SCS Wraps in Bozeman. We worked together to find a graphics package that expressed the expedition and our show without being a design that could be misjudged at borders, military and police checkpoints, etc. The result was a top-notch install from a top-notch team. Next we rolled down to Idaho Falls to have our CBI rear bumpers installed. The bumpers are a must-have in our opinion for long-term adventure travel. We're with Nathan here from CBI. We just came in and got our bumpers put on. And hey, we'd like you to go through this, walk through some of the features. So I guess just starting off, I mean, this is a great view from the back. It really shows you the benefit of an off-road bumper. So all of these bends 
not only does it give you increased departure angle and clearance on the rear mm -hmm. and in the corners as it comes up to the corners, so you get a lot of extra clearance there, but how that's designed with the structure behind here, it's actually reinforcing this plate. Cool. And then of course the ability to carry a lot of extra accessories and, and get that stuff out of the way so you can store more stuff inside yeah. or underneath. It's all made of steel, of course. It's got a built-in receiver hitch, mm -hmm. so you can still tow. It's all one piece in this setup. Give you recovery points on the back. Mm -hmm. It's a three-quarter inch steel D-ring tab. You can pull on it, you can tug on it, whatever you need to do. I mean, that's that's what it's there for. We were just going with something that, that hopefully we think flows well with the vehicle. In Sandy, Utah, we stopped into Cruiser Rap Fitters to have our Easy On K9 roof racks installed. Then, our Easy On rooftop tents and awnings, supplied to us from our good friend and sponsor, Paul May, owner of Equipped Expedition Outfitters. We've had a lot of experience with the K9 roof racks with our time with Expedition 7 as they traveled the world in their Land Cruisers, and we knew that this install was a premium addition. On those roof racks, we also installed Rigid Industries SR 40-inch combos for serious lighting power in a discreet package. We also mounted an E2 30-inch combo light bar secretly behind the grill. With all lighting accessories being managed by an S-Pod source, providing the final touch on a seriously impressive lighting system. Uh, we're stopping in here all the way down in Prescott to get drawers put in this 4Runner and also the Tacoma at Adventure Trailers. I contacted Mario a few weeks ago and said, hey, we got some problems that we need solved for our flagship 4Runner. Uh, we need fixed by your expertise. Then I handed it over to you. Right, yeah. And this is what we came up with. Yep, so first and foremost, your primary storage for food is gonna be in your fridge, right? You're gonna have a lot of perishable goods in there. If your temperatures are hot, you're gonna need cold drinks. So you wanna have this pretty readily accessible. So your uh, fridge just pulls right out and you've got quick access. You get into it, you can grab your meals, you can leave this open, right? Maybe you need to cook a meal, so now your stove slides right out and you have quick access to your stove. Yep. So right where you're standing, which is perfect, your standard arrangement in a kitchen is like this triangle, right? So now you have your cool little table here on your, your bumper, so now you've got enough room to work in this space and get everything done and access all your food storage. This makes a really efficient system. This all deploys so quickly that your time on the road is well spent. And bam, everything's so Yeah, you're out of there. You're clean, right? Uh, so inside the cabinet, you've got a power bank. And this, this will have a Group 31 battery. It's uh, 105 amps, so that's plenty of juice. Yep. You'll be able to remove this if you need to. It's simply four screws, and you can pop the thing out. Lift it up, and then there's the access ports for all the power right in here, and uh, so you can easily monitor it. And while you're driving, you want to be able to make sure that the whole power system is being charged and what's the status of the alternator on the vehicle. There's a uh, controller right here on the face that the driver can just turn around and look and say, ah, this system is live and working. Working well. Yeah, exactly. It also allows us to put both of our batteries in series in the event that we need to jumpstart our own vehicle. With one button. With one button. With one button, exactly. The Forerunner's drawer system also doubles as a single man sleeping location or a medical platform in the event we need to transport someone who is injured or sick. On this expedition, there will be a full time bed for Toby, allowing him to be safe and secure from any howling monkeys. So, when it comes to our Tacoma, uh, same ideas applied. We, we started out with what we thought we needed and then we worked backwards to get to the drawer system that we ended up with. We've got a giant long drawer here that pulls all the way out full length of the bed, right? Yeah. So now you can put some heavy dense things up in the front of the drawer here. It will work the best that way and then your immediate galley needs are right here. So that at least when you are operating your galley, the drawer is half pulled out and you still have that access area around here. You can access everything you want in the kitchen and you can still get your fridge and your stove out past the edge of the tailgate so you still have good walk around room you can operate the stove off this side or off the other side and then for uh, 
things that you might want to access while your tailgate is closed and you're just popping the lid, but you want some of that quick stuff here, you have a door in front of that drawer so you can get to it. So maybe just grabbing a quick, quick snack, a couple of power bars or something like that. Right? And again, you know, rail on the top so that you can strap miscellaneous cargo on it. And then your other compartment, perfect for stuff the driver needs to get to in a hurry, right? It's immediately yep. through that side door, he opens it, gets inside, pulls out what he needs. So exactly. The idea is make everything really easily accessible. Yeah, it's going to work out great. Great job. Thanks. Yeah, nice. We're very excited to use this system. I think this is fantastic. Excellent. <laughs> Final touches are put on, such as our iPad navigation system with HEMA mapping, Alubox cases for storing items on the roof, and of course, our cherished Max Tracks for vehicle recovery. Now our trucks are ready to hit the road.